We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you this important news flash. <laughs> the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette okay. came in the mail today. To, I know that on my last video I said I was going to be doing a review of the Tarte new Lip and Cheek palette. It's so perfect, you guys. You need it. But I have to get this in there first because this puppy finally came today and it is just so fantastic. You just have to see it. Another one of Anastasia's glow kits. This is one of her glow kits. However, you get six colors in this one instead of the usual four colors in her other glow kits I have. But when I saw this one online, I was like, I was just drawn in. Um, it's just so amazing, the colors. Now, I don't really know if all of these are good per se for highlighters, like your cheek highlights, but we will get to that later. So what I did was I used it as eyeshadow today and, and highlight. Let me just show you. So it's the usual Anastasia sort of cardboard laminated packaging. These colors are just so unusual, just so ethereal and out of this world and just intergalactic looking. And look at the gleam and the shine on them. I have several of these on today in different ways eyeshadows and highlights. So let me show you the swatches. The swatches just, they they melt your eyes. I mean, when I saw the swatches of this, had to get it. So starting up here with blue ice. Blue ice looks like it's a nice white pearl, doesn't it? It's not. It's blue. It's an icy light blue. I'll show you on the back of my hand. Blue ice. I have this one on today as sort of a highlight. However, blue ice has chunky glitter in it. A couple of the colors in this palette have some very chunky glitter in it, and you kind of have to deal with flying around, falling out glitter. The rest of them are smooth. I don't know what the deal is. So that's blue ice. Next we have star. Star looks very green. And it's not really that green on. It is an ice blue. Star is the closest one to being sort of a normal looking highlight color because it's almost, almost like a champagne, almost like a white, like a pearl, but it has a bit of a green to it. Next we have my favorite, Purple Horseshoe. Purple Horseshoe has chunky glitter. It's a chunky glitter type of deal. And I use it as an eyeshadow today. I'll show you how I put all of these things on. There is Purple Horseshoe. It's very purple, isn't it? Purple Horseshoe and Blue Ice are a little bit close in color. Next, we have Pink Heart. This is sort of a normally looking, uh, a normal looking highlight as well. It's very icy, but it's pink. It, you get the pink um, duochrome going with it. You get a very pink duochrome going with it right there. So I used Pink Heart as my actual cheek highlight today. Next is Lucky Clover. Lucky Clover turns out to be spring green. Very different. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. And finally, Blue Moon. Blue Moon in the package looks quite dark, doesn't it? Another good blue color. Let's put that right up here in this corner. So check out the iridescence. It will drive you crazy. It will mesmerize you and force you to buy the palette. <laughs> so what I did today was for my eyes, I used um, my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette in the crease and the corner and the inner corner. I used a color called Anaheim. I use that one a lot. My Gwen Stefani palette, I love her neutrals that are in there. And then I went back um, later and used uh, used the warm taupe color that is in the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. So I kind of darkened up the outer corner, the inner corner, and the crease with that warm taupe color. Then I used Purple Horseshoe in the center of my lid on both eyes. Purple Horseshoe ha does have that chunky glitter in it, um, as does the Blue Ice and sort of the Pink Heart. But the Purple Horseshoe color, it, it, 
it the, the glitter was able to sort of lay flat on my lid if that makes any sense as I was putting it on so it's really it really wasn't that much of a problem I don't know as a highlight I think it's going to be very fly around fly away so next I took some of that warm taupe and I lined under here about to mid on my lower lid and then I put some purple horseshoe from the mid to the inner corner and my whole inner corner I did the star color my highlight I used Lucky Clover. Now see, it doesn't look too, too green, does it? it doesn't look... Then for my actual highlight, I used Pink Heart. Pink Heart gives you that pink reflection. And then in the very center of my cheekbone, I dotted some of the star color, just in the very center. That's. I also dotted a little bit of the blue ice up here and down my nose and right here. However, the blue ice does tend to have that flaky glitter and it it doesn't look right on my nose. I mean, if you could really see up close, you could see that there's flaky glitter on my nose. So you could really do this sort of an eye with any of these stronger colored colors in this palette. I would say you could do a Lucky Clover. That would be so pretty. Do a same, the same sort of beigey taupe and then do Lucky Clover in the center. There's a lot of ways you can go with this palette. Now, highlight wise, I'm not sure you could use some of these really blue colors for a highlighter. Um, the purple horseshoe, you know, the very purple one. If you put these sort of darker tones like this on, well, darker for highlight, you know. If you put those on your cheek, it's going to look just dark and dull and just kind of Halloweenish. I don't know. I've seen it done and I don't really like it. It just sort of dulls down and darkens down your face. A uh, star is fine for a highlight because it's very white, sort of, white based. Pink heart is great for a highlight because it has that pink reflection. And then again, um, the blue moon one, again, um, putting blue on your cheeks is just not, it's not um, brightening. It's not highlighting and healthy looking. I don't know. It's unhealthy looking. It's how that makes you look. I'm going to continue to experiment with some of these colors on my cheeks and I will let you know. I'll show you what I come up with on that. Um, however, I think some of them, like I said, just don't really work too well as highlighter colors and you can use them as other things. What's interesting about this palette is it doesn't really have a formula that's per se highlighter. It has a highlighter and eyeshadowy type formula. It's flexible in that way. You could use these highlighters or eyeshadows. Another thing you could do with any of these is use it as a lip. In the center of your lip is a lip highlight. Let's put Pink Heart in the center of my lip and see how that comes off. Oh, I love it. Look at it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is so cool. Just a little bit of a glisten. You know, nothing bright. You could do that with any of these. You could put a little Lucky Clover on there. That. I love. I love that. Look at that. Especially, you know, with a matte lipstick like this. Oh, yeah. I love it. See, there's another use for you. So stay tuned for all my other videos. I've got ColourPop metallic lips coming, other things, other exciting things on the way. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.